Good morning everyone and welcome to the Manse of Port Glasgow New Parish Church. We joined together this morning on Sunday the 21st of June at 10.45 and I welcome you whatever you may be joining us from today. I appreciate that every week it's great we see the comments section and we've had comments from Canada and we've had comments from Ireland so fantastic like I say I welcome you whatever you are joining us from today. I've very much been looking forward to this morning's service because not only is it our Sunday Club prize giving service but our service today is led by some of our children and our teenagers. You know we said we are not going to let coronavirus win, we always have a Sunday Club prize giving service and we will do so today. It's a virtual Sunday Club prize giving service so you'll see what we mean by that and how we've managed to do that later in the service but yes our young folk take part in our service today and I'm very much looking forward to that. So we have Thomas who opens the service for us, we have Sarah who does the opening prayer, um, some of our children so a variety of children in a variety of different locations are leading us in our Lord's Prayer so that's interesting so keep tuned, uh, stay tuned for that. We have Louise and Abby who read our scripture readings for us today. Uh, Sheena who will lead our Sunday Club prize giving service and we also have Grace who uh, does the prayer of intercession and to close our service we have Daniel Marshall who says the grace. So there's so much going on in today's service and I'm very much looking forward to it and I really hope that you enjoy it. And what would be great is if you could write in the comment section below um, because you know boys and girls um, I know you'll be watching today um, it would be good if you could check the comment section afterwards because I know that all the adults will want to comment on what they've seen today because you've put in a lot of hard work, you've sent me all your videos and I very much look forward to today's service so yes if I can ask all the adults please comment in the Facebook section after the service and our boys and girls and our teenagers can see what you thought of our service today. That's all for me, um, I'll see you a wee bit later on because I'll lead the children's talk um, but yes over to Thomas, it's all yours. Grace and peace to you from God our Father who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing that comes from heaven, who knew us so much and chose us before the world began, who loves us so much that he calls us his own children, who has brought us from darkness into light and filled us with his glorious power, who has prepared an inheritance for us that will never spoil or fade, who encourages and strengthens us in every good deed and word, who comforts us in our troubles so that we can comfort others. This is our God, the ultimate source of all things and the one for whom we live. Let us worship God together. Let us join as one to sing or listen to the first hymn this morning. Give me joy in my heart, sing Hosanna.
Loving God, we thank you for this new day. We thank you for being with us during this past week, always there by our sides to guide our footsteps, leading us forward. We thank you for the assurance that you will be with us in the days ahead, that whatever this week may bring, whatever challenges we may face, that you will be there to see us through, giving us the strength and resources we need. Help us to use this time this morning that you have given us to hear your voice and grow closer to you so that we may return to our daily lives renewed in hope and vision, strengthened in our faith and equipped to offer thanksgiving, not just with our lips, but through everything we are and we do. To the glory of your name, all this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Sunday club will now lead us in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Wow. Wow, indeed. That was fantastic. Well done to all of you who took part in the Lord's Prayer. Of course, well done to Sarah, who um, did our opening prayer for us today, and to Thomas, who opened our service for us today. And of course, there's more of you to come. Uh, more of you are taking part in our service today, and Daniel is going to close our service for us today. So, do you know, boys and girls, the more and more I think about it, there's actually nothing for me to do. Not a thing, you guys have got this. Sorted, yep. So, I was just thinking, do you, do you think it'd be alright if I just went over there and sat on the couch and put my feet up? Do you think that'd be okay? Yep, you guys can do this, you've got it. Yep, so what I'm going to do, I'll just log off, okay? I'll leave you to this, alright? I'll see you all later, nice to see you again, alright? Bye. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding, alright? I'm going to do the children's talk, so at least I'm doing something today. Yeah, at least I'm being a wee bit worthwhile today. I'll do the children's talk, alright? And you're probably thinking, why is he sitting next to his television? Hmm, that's a good question. And it's quite bright up here, okay? So I'm at the top of the house and it's quite bright. And you'll probably notice you can see one William, two Williams, three Williams. If you look a wee bit closer, you can see four Williams. There's even five Williams. I know scary you know one is enough one is enough but there's about five in there so but yeah i'm sitting next to my television because um on saturday night so last night i thought you know what i want to watch a wee film and uh, i had a look through all my dvd collection i thought what is it i want to watch tonight so i found this i found this film um home alone one and home alone two i wonder if you ever watched that before and you're probably like william come on that's a christmas film we're in the summer. Why are you watching a Christmas film in the summer? Well, do you know, I thought, this year has already been crazy enough. Why not watch a Christmas film in summer? So, Home Alone 1 and Home Alone 2. And there's always a big debate between me, uh, or myself and my sister. Because my sister says that Home Alone 1 is the best one. And I say Home Alone 2 is the best one. And I'm usually right, and she's usually wrong. So, I just hope she doesn't watch this. So, yeah, she says Home Alone 1 is the best. I say Home Alone 2 is the best. But I'll tell you what we both agree on. Home Alone 3. Mm -mm. Don't like Home Alone 3, no. But anyway, Home Alone 1, Home Alone 2. I wonder if you've watched it. If you have, what's your favourite scene? So, what's your favourite scene? Um, I've got a favourite scene. And the reason it's my favourite scene is because of Kevin's mum's reaction. Okay, so this picture here might give away my favourite scene, and it's when uh, he goes missing. So if you remember in Home Alone 2, he goes to a different airport, he goes to New York, and they end up in Miami airport, and as they hand down the bags to Kevin, what happens? The bag comes all the way back, because they realise that Kevin isn't there. Kevin is missing, they've lost their boy, and I'm, 
I'm not laughing at the fact that the boys went missing, I should point that out. I'm laughing at his mum's reaction. Can you remember his mum's reaction, I wonder? Let's have a wee look. So there we are. What do you think of her reaction? Um, so what happens is she realises that her boy has went missing, he's not there and of course she screeches his name and she falls over but actually she didn't click at first so she handed the bag all the way down the line, the bag came all the way back up the line and people says that Kevin wasn't there and she even said it herself didn't she? She handed it back to her husband and she said Kevin's not here and it was only when her husband said what? suddenly she clicked and she realised that her wee boy was missing and that's when she screeches and she falls over because she panicked, she realised that her boy wasn't there and of course as we know, her boy was in New York City which is a huge city and they were somewhere else so I absolutely loved that and of course Home Alone 2 is about a boy who goes missing and um, his parents and his, his, his mum have to then find him and I want to tell you another wee story about a boy who went missing and this comes from the Bible, okay? So this is about when Jesus was a child. So Jesus and his mum and his dad, Mary and Joseph, they travelled to a place called Jerusalem for a big celebration, so for a big festival and that festival was called Passover and that's when God's people celebrated to remember God who used Moses to save the people from slavery in Egypt many years before. So they went on a big um, a big journey to Jerusalem and they had to walk and of course that would have taken them several days to get there. Walking by day and setting up tents by the roadside at night. Now I wonder if you've ever slept in a tent before. Maybe if you're in the scouts you will have done that. But they set up tents by the roadside at night and they made their way to this big celebration. And when the celebrations were over um, and it was time to journey home, Mary and Joseph realised as they journeyed on that someone was missing. Can you think who that might be? So if you remember who went to the celebration, there was three of them and they're walking home and suddenly they realise that someone's missing. There's now only two of them. So yeah, Jesus had went missing and he wasn't with them and it took them three days. So the Bible tells us that it took a whole three days for them to find him again. And when they did find Jesus, Mary and Joseph were really surprised to find out where he was. He was sitting in the temple with all of the temple leaders and he was asking lots of questions about God and he also got them to think about things too. And you know, I absolutely love this story because the temple leaders who were grown adults could have just said to the wee boy, you know, please just go away. You know, we're not interested, you're just a wee boy. But they didn't. They sat and they listened to him and they paid attention to him and he was able to ask them questions which is great that they answered and they were also able to listen to what he had to say and to me that is really really important and that's a lesson for all of us as adults is that you're a hugely important part of our church. We love the fact that you're part of our church and to me all boys and girls should be seen and they should be heard and it's really important that you feel that you can come to church, that you can enjoy it, you can ask us questions, you can ask me questions, you can ask the adults questions, um, perhaps you don't understand something, so perhaps there's something in the service and you think, I don't know what that is, or what, what does a sermon mean? 
you know, that kind of thing. Um, and it's really important as adults that we look after you and we answer your questions and we listen to you. Because as I said, you are a hugely important part of our church and we love the fact that you're part of our church. And when Jesus was older, he showed us just how important children were to him. Um, he was in a big crowd and the children tried to come to him. We're going to hear this Bible story too. The children tried to come to him and his disciples said, no, you'll stay back. And Jesus says, no, let the children come to me. Um, so to Jesus, children were really important. So we saw it when he was a youngster and when he was older, he said, let the children come to me. So to Jesus, you are very important. Children are very important. And to us as a church, you're very important too. And we celebrate today um, by giving you your certificates and your gifts. And we celebrate the fact that you're part of our church. So please don't ever hesitate to talk to us about anything, to give us your ideas. You know, perhaps you've got an idea or you've heard a new worship song. Or perhaps you've got some questions and you, you want to come up and say, Yo, William, I don't get this. Or why do we do this at church? Or shouldn't we do this? Or I've seen this. Please don't hesitate to come and talk to us. So you are a hugely important part of our church. And we are a church family and we love the fact that you are part of our church family. We are going to hear both of those stories now. Um, the one where Jesus and his family were travelling to Jerusalem and Jesus went missing. And the one where Jesus says, let the children come to me. And they're going to be read to us by Abby and Louise. So what I want you to do is I want you to listen really, really carefully um, to what Abby and Louise have to say. So carefully because whenever they mention Jesus, I want you to do something for me. I want you to clap your hands twice. I want you to go. Okay? So you really have to listen to both of these Bible stories very carefully. So when they say Jesus, I want you to go. Okay? Excellent. So Abby and Louise are going to read our um, scripture readings for us this morning. Today's reading is from Luke chapter 2, 41 to 52, The Boy Jesus in the Temple. Every year, the parents of Jesus went to Jerusalem for the Passover festival. When Jesus was 12 years old, they went to the festival as usual. When the festival was over, they started back home, but the boy Jesus stayed in Jerusalem. His parents did not know this. They thought that he was with the group, so they travelled a whole day, then started looking for him among their relatives and friends. They did not find him, so they went back to Jerusalem looking for him. On the third day, they found him in the temple, sitting with the Jewish teachers, listening to them and asking questions. All who heard him were amazed at his intelligent answers. His parents were astonished when they saw him, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been terribly worried trying to find you. He answered them, Why did you have to look for me? Didn't you know that I had to be in my father's house? But he did not understand his answer. So Jesus went back with them to Nazareth, where he was obedient to them. His mother treasured all these things in her heart. Jesus grew both in body and in wisdom, gaining favour with God and the people. This reading comes from Luke chapter 18, verses 15 to 17. Some people brought their babies to Jesus for him to place his hands on them. The disciples saw them and scolded them for doing so. But Jesus called the children to him and said, Let the children come to me and do not stop them, because the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Remember this, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. Amen and thanks be to God. Thank you very much both. That was excellent reading of our scripture readings for today. Um, we are now going to listen, or you can dance, or you can sing along, or you can do the actions to our next song. Our next song is called Jesus, You're My Superhero. I absolutely love this song. Um, so please feel free if you want to join in. It's Jesus, You're My Superhero. And then we will have our Sunday Club prize giving led to us by Sheena today. Puts the 
And now, the moment we have all been waiting for, it is the Sunday Club and Lasers prize given. Um, I just want to say a huge big thank you to all of you boys and girls and to our teenagers um, who come along to our Sunday Club and to our Lasers. We very much appreciate it. As I've said many times, you're an important part of our church and congregation and we really do value you all. And we miss the fact that we can't see you face to face at the moment. Um, but for me, it was great to actually meet you this week um, because I went round with your certificates and your gift bags. Um, also, a big thank you, of course, to our Sunday Club and our Lasers leaders. Um, we couldn't do, obviously do this without you, so we really appreciate what you do um, for us and for the children of our church. So on Friday, um, myself and Gillian Deegan went and visited uh, all of our children and our young folk, and that was fantastic. Uh, of course, we took a car each because of social distancing. So uh, for most of it, I had to follow Gillian because I had no idea where I was going. And when we went to Greenock, which was where I was born and brought up, uh, that's when Gillian had to follow me. But we got there. Um, the day started nice and dry, and we got to meet boys and girls, and we got to meet you outside, which was fantastic. Nice and dry, and we got some good pictures. Uh, then we got to the top of Port Glasgow, and then, yes, heavy, heavy rain, so I was completely soaked, as was Gillian. So I'm saying this because we're doing this in um, alphabetical order, so in the photographs it's going to look like one, I'll be nice and dry, and then two, I'll be absolutely soaked. So that's why I'm saying. Um, also in the photographs, I should point out, it's myself and our boys and girls and our teenagers. It does look like we don't like each other. And we were laughing about this when we went round. It looks like we um, we had a big argument and we don't like each other. But obviously, due to social distancing, I had to keep my distance. So, um, so we do like each other. Well, I think we do. Do we? Yeah, yeah, we do. We do. So we get on really well. So yeah, in the photographs, it looks like um, we've had a big argument and we're not talking. But no, we are. Okay. So thank you to the Sunday Club. Thank you to the lasers. Thank you to the leaders. And I'm now going to hand over to Sheena, and Sheena is going to virtually present you with your certificate and your gift bag. Good morning, everyone. And it's a great joy to be part of this service today and to celebrate with our young people who are such an important part of our church family. Normally, the annual prize giving would take place in church prior to our summer holidays. But as we are still not allowed in our, into our building, the prize giving is taking place virtually, the first ever. To all our young folk, we say a huge thank you for being part of our family, for attending Sunday Club week by week, and lately for participating online. We really do miss seeing all your happy, smiling faces every Sunday morning. William has been out and about delivering the gifts and certificates. So let's now see some of those happy faces that we're all missing. First up to receive their gifts and awards are Abby and Ben Arkless. Next up is Fraser Gallagher. Then we have Cora, Cooper and Zara Deegan. Next, we have Daniel Marshall.
Next to gain their certificates and prizes are Christopher and Louis Burrilly. Next we have David Hamilton. Finally, we have Logan and Lucas Wordy. And finally, from our lasers, we have Thomas Williams, Sarah Green and Louise Hart. Well done to everyone. Brilliant, well done everyone, uh, that was absolutely fantastic, like I say I've been looking forward to this um, for a good number of weeks now, so it was fantastic to meet you all yesterday, uh, I'm so used to seeing you on screen at the moment, but it was good to see you all, I uh, hope you enjoy your certificates and your gifts, it's a big thank you from all of us, um, for those of you who didn't get your books, uh, I plan to visit you again on Monday with your books, um, don't worry if you're not in, I'll post them through the letterbox just to make sure that you get them, but a big well done again, thank you very much uh, to all of our boys and girls and our teenagers and of course a huge thank you to our Sunday club and our lasers leaders, we simply couldn't do it without you. Now, now, if you remember, I asked you all if you could take part in Shine from the Inside Out and if you could send me videos of you all uh, either singing or dancing or doing the actions or wearing funny glasses or using a guitar, whatever you wanted to do, just have a bit of fun with it, and you did. And um, I've been sent the video by Alan, and I've got to say, huge smile on my face when I watched it, the whole thing is amazing. Um, huge smile, but also I've got to admit I laughed as well, because some of the videos are just amazing, the sunglasses, the guitars, they're just brilliant, and Cora, <laughs> like, <laughs> I know, like, I laughed, okay, but you know, I know you're all right, though. So, but <laughs> you, you'll see, you'll see what I mean. I've just watched the video. You'll see what I mean. Um, Cora's on the couch, and then um, all the Deegans are all looking at the camera, and then suddenly they turn around, and Cora's lying flat on the couch. Uh, so Cora had a wee bit of a tumble, but I'm glad it was a couch and it wasn't the floor, Cora. So, uh, yeah, I think it's your mum's reaction that kind of really made it. Yeah. I can't stop laughing, sorry about that Cora, but I know you're okay so that's fine. Um, this video is amazing, okay, so I'm going to stop talking, I'm going to let you watch it, but I really want to say a massive big thank you to Alan. Um, that must take a lot of work to put this together, I wouldn't even know where to start, um, so a huge thank you to Alan for putting this together. So here we go, it's finally time, it's Shine from the inside out with all of you. Shine from the inside out that the world will 
here in Port Glasgow and throughout the world. May all who come among our church family find love and fellowship. May they find acceptance and friendship. Just as Jesus welcomes everyone, may we too show that welcome to others. And as Jesus listens and responds to the questions of all, may we follow his example. Lord, we pray for the young people of our church, our country and our world. Young people with so much to offer, so many gifts, so many fresh ideas, and so much drive and enthusiasm. Hear our prayer for the young people of our church here in Port Glasgow. Help us to appreciate them, to be open to their ideas and suggestions, to use their gifts, to nurture their faith, and care about their welfare. Guide them, protect them, and encourage them in all that they do. May we learn from each other. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. So thank you very much for leading us in prayer there, Grace. Uh, that was excellent. Well done. Uh, we now bring our service to a close. I have thoroughly enjoyed our service today. I've enjoyed the songs. I've enjoyed the children taking part. And our service today will be closed by Daniel Marshall. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to that as well. Well done, Daniel. Thanks for taking part. But yeah, absolutely fantastic service. As I said earlier, boys and girls, you're a hugely important part of our church. Um, we love the fact that you're part of our church. And well done again. Thank you very much to all of our Sunday Club leaders and thank you to everyone who took part in today's service. So thank you all very much indeed. Um, I'll be back again tonight at 7 o'clock for our evening prayer. But let's close our service today with a song. This is a brilliant song. Um, so sing, dance, take part. It is Peace Like a River.
the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen.